I am, I am trying my best to do some hand tracking in VR today. Not only that, but I have eye tracking. So I am looking at you. <laughs> um, I recently got an, uh, a Quest Pro. This avatar does not yet have a face and eye tracking incorporated. So I'm just using NeoChat's default, um, which only really tracks the direction of my eyes and how much they are closed or opened. Um, and also, it doesn't really do both eyes. Oh my god. It doesn't really do both eyes. It just kind of does, or it doesn't do them individually. It's like if I squint my eyes on one side and open it wide on the other side, it just half closes it like this. I kind of look like I'm angry at you, but that's because my left eye is closed and my right one is open. It's a bit weird. Oh well. Today, because I am wearing a VR headset, I will not be whispering into the mics as much as I am right now. That is very, very tedious. Um. What I'll be doing instead is giving you some triggers that I have collected. So, I hope you enjoy. I will be starting us out with a glass. No idea if this comes off super terribly. We will just have to wait and see. Yeah. On my end, I can only guess that I am constantly hitting the microphones, but I am sure as the video goes on, I will improve. I will improve my navigation with the headset and now I understand because I was watching Senshi ASMR and every time he did anything with his mics I could see his, his head he does that thing he would look down he's just peeking under his headset to see where the mic is before he hits it with his face that's very thoughtful of you, Senshi. Anyway, you should totally check him out. I'll put a link to him on the screen. Right. Right there. Right. Right there. It'll, it'll, it's good. I like his stuff. We will move on to a controller. Particularly an Xbox controller. I think this is an Xbox One controller, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. I have not used a console in a very long time. I am a PC game exclusive kind of guy. Uh, but, oh, why is Ms. Garf doing that? 
um, I keep a controller around because certain games are just sorry, certain games are just better with a controller, and those are the rules. I did not make them; I simply abide by them. That's a bit of a, a bit of a clicky A button, huh? sure how I feel about the buttons. They're, they're a little bit, they're a little bit snappy, or like very blatantly plasticky, and I'm not, I'm not sure Not sure if it's a good ASMR sound or if I will make this brief. But there's more to this controller. Like the joysticks. The joysticks are also pretty neat. Side note, I have been heavily considering getting a 3DO, uh, especially for VR recordings, because a 3DO would mean I only have one microphone. It would have to run through some external audio devices, but I could have only one audio device, and I wouldn't have to worry about bumping into arm stands and other stuff. I could just put it down and do ASMR around it super easy. So I, I kind of considered getting one, but also there kind of expensive. It's $399. That's a lot, I think. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to see how YouTube goes here when approaching uh, December and, and January and all of those months. And, you know, if it pays for itself, I'm starting up a Patreon in January, most likely as well. Or I'm, I'm updating the Patreon, adding some some spicy content. <laughs> um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But here's hoping that it can pay for the gear that I will be using. And if I'm incredibly, incredibly lucky, it can pay for me to live. So I don't need to go back to my 9 to 5, which I've been avoiding 
for the last month or so. But those are not the grim subjects which I wish to discuss in this video. How are you finding the trigger, oh sorry, the trigger and button sounds, the bumper buttons and the triggers. I don't know if the trigger is quite audible, but I like it. I think I like it. That was a lot of, a lot of controller sounds. That was a lot of controller sounds. Um, I kind of kept going on. We have actually one of my favorite, um, well, I guess it's not my favorite trigger, but it's one that I perform very well, I think. It's one of my most confident triggers, if you will. My confident trigger, and it's been featured one time on this channel. It is, of course, none other than my empty toilet paper roll. <laughs> I've got my hand. are doing. I think I will do, oh, I don't know why it thinks my hand is over there. Okay. I think I will do another hand track video with visual triggers instead. Let me know if you'd like more VR content. I'm sure I'll get better as I go, but I know that with this face tracking and eye tracking headset, I can definitely do some, some fun stuff. Plus, in February, and I know that's a long time, I'm asking you to wait. Um, you will probably not remember this by then. But in February, I have ordered a pair of UD cap. Oh my god, hands, please. 
I have ordered a pair of UD Cap VR gloves. What that means is I have a pair of gloves that I can do all of this hand tracking stuff with independently of my headset, aka instead of my headset having cameras that check my hand movement like this and it's like really finicky where if I look the wrong way it just forgets where my hand is instead of that I would have um, gloves attached to my hands with little trackers on them that would show me where I am uh, and that way I wouldn't accidentally jump by pressing a random button um, because the buttons would actually be on the gloves and have individual controls that I can manage so uh, stay tuned for that although and that is all the way out in February, so I do not expect you to remember. I do not expect you to remember. I do not. This video really has been like 70% rambling and 30% talking. Uh, I mean, 30% triggers. I have only one more trigger, which is like kind, kind of an extension of the last trigger, I would say. But I think it sounds funny. Currently drawing on the empty toilet paper roll, but I'm not actually drawing. I am using a plastic and metal spoon, and I swear to me that is such a nice sound. Like imagine that I am. describe the sound other than that I'm scraping a spoon. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, my camera. No, please. I was dreading that this could happen. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, minor technical difficulties. My camera has decided to get grabbed by my wildly flailing hands. I did not lock my camera. That is, that is me. That is my fault. But we are back. But yeah. Imagine just this sound. I don't know what it is about it, but it does, it does something for me. But yeah, this is a little bit of an unorthodox video from me. Uh, normally, my trigger videos, they don't perform as well, so I'm really hoping this one does, because I kind of love the simplicity and the calmness of doing trigger videos, and I really want to start doing streams. Streams, like, like, where's my mic? There's my mic. I hope this video performs well. Because I really want the inspiration to start doing, like, ASMR streams. And, and I hope that people watch them and they enjoy them. Um, but yeah, that I think, I think, I think that about does it for 
from me for now. I've done my triggers, I've done my rambling. This one, I honestly couldn't tell you how long or short. Oh my god, sorry. I honestly couldn't tell you how long or how short this video was. If I was to guess, maybe 20 minutes? I'm not sure. Um, I'll just have to see when I have to edit it. I definitely hit the mic a lot. Um, gonna have to cut that out. But I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah.